In this video, we're gonna cover everything you need to know about SQL, the language of databases, and why you as a data professional need to learn all about SQL. So one of the most in-demand and sought-after skills for data analysts is the knowledge and experience of knowing how to code in SQL. But many of you are probably wondering, what is SQL? What, what? Wait, what? Why is it needed and what is it used for? Now, the first thing I want to point out is that SQL or SQL for short essentially stands for Structured Query Language. It is the language of databases. If ever you're in a role where you are required to extract data from a database or a data warehouse, you will be using, more likely than not, SQL to do the job. Now, SQL has been around for a very long time. In fact, I studied SQL back at university almost 15 years ago here in the UK. And to this day, SQL has not changed. There have been new flavors of SQL, but they have been broadly more or less the same. Now, many people argue SQL isn't really a programming language. It's actually just a querying language. It's only used in working with databases. However, with that said, you can actually use SQL within a Python shell, within Python language as well. Python supports a lot of SQL packages and a lot of SQL-like language within Python itself. Now getting back to SQL and databases, there are a number of popular big databases out there that exist all over the world today. And some of the most popular ones are Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle SQL Developer, which is what I learned. And then you have a series of other databases which are slightly smaller, but nevertheless are highly used. And these include MySQL, which has been around for a long time, SQLite, PostgreSQL, and more recently, especially in cloud computing, you've got the likes of BigQuery and Redshift, which all use SQL-like languages to extract and query data. Now, why should you learn SQL? Now, as I said earlier, in order to extract data from databases, inevitably, you'll need to learn SQL. Now, most companies are using and moving their data into readily available BI tools and platforms like Tableau and Power BI. But if you're wanting to do some data engineering work or if you're wanting to extract data from an original source, then you will need to learn SQL. Now, SQL actually isn't hard. It's actually quite an easy to learn language. And the reason for that is it's quite similar in how you would type out a formula in Excel and it uses simple English commands, which are fairly easy to understand. And these commands are known as statements. And the statements always follow a logical order. So for example, all SQL statements will begin with a select statement. And a select statement essentially means select something from somewhere. So for instance, you might say select customer name, which is a field name from customer table. And that select customer name from customer it can be one of the shortest lines of SQL code you will ever write. But more importantly, it can actually be sufficient enough for you to do a simple job or a simple task. Now, SQL can be very complex or can be very basic and very straightforward. But on the whole, most jobs, most data analyst jobs don't require a huge advanced knowledge or sophisticated knowledge of SQL. In fact, when I worked at Google, I used some of the simplest st SQL statements and SQL scripts that you could think of. So I use statements like select from where, order by, and in. And these were actually really basic, really easy to use, really easy to learn statements in the language of SQL. Where it does get more advanced is when you're doing joins. So there are many different types of joins. I'm not gonna cover them in this video, but what I will say is if you wanna improve and get good at SQL, you need to learn the art of joins. Now a join essentially means in the literal sense, a join. So you're joining from one data set to another or from one table to another table. Now, why would you do that? Because typically you may have data in one table, but you may have corresponding or relevant data in another table. And in order for you to extract a meaningful data set, a join would help you pull the relevant fields which match another set of field in a corresponding table. So I might do, for instance, a select statement selecting customer name, but I'm also wanting to select a order ID from two different tables. And I would use a join joining on a key to connect the two data pieces together so I can get the right level of detail for that customer and for that order. Now, traditionally, you will use SQL for extracting data. So remember that as a data analyst, one of your main jobs, probably 80 to 90% of everything you do with SQL will be to retrieve data. But there will be instances where you need to push data 
back into a database. Now that's very rare, but you may find yourself occasionally having to do that. And SQL allows for that too. You can create and insert records into existing tables and databases. Equally, you can in fact create your own tables and your own databases using SQL as well. And if you wanna to learn to become a data engineer, then it's important that you learn all the aspects of retrieving data, inserting and creating new records or deleting records, and more importantly, learning to create tables and create your own databases from scratch. Now, if you want to practice SQL, you've got a number of options, but one of the best things you can do is to download your own SQL database. So as I mentioned earlier, there are a number of popular databases out there. There are some heavy enterprise-wide databases, which are very heavy and industrial to use, especially if you want to download them to your local laptop. So your best bet is to download a lightweight database, something like MySQL or SQLite. Alternatively, you can learn to practice SQL online as well. You can choose to use something like BigQuery, which Google offers as a free trial up to a certain data capacity. Are you sure? which Google offers for free up to a certain limit. But my best suggestion is that you download something like SQLite or MySQL onto your machine and you download a sample database which comes available with both those two databases. So for example, with MySQL, you can download a sample database known as the Sequila database. And in it, you can practice a number of SQL statements joins and advanced functions. And the Sequila sample database is also available for SQLite as well. In this channel, in one of my next upcoming videos, we will be going into depth about installing MySQL and SQLite on your machine. And we'll be exploring the Sequila data set to practice SQL and to learn some basics around SQL and then to get more advanced with some more advanced functions around SQL statements and SQL language. So I wanna wrap up by saying that although SQL is highly relevant today for a lot of data analysts and a lot of data professionals, you don't actually need to be a professional and advanced user of SQL to do a good job as a data professional. You can actually get by running and knowing some basic SQL statements and that would be sufficient enough for you to do a good job. But nevertheless, it's important to practice guys. It's important to become familiar. You may eventually have an interview where you are asked to prepare for a SQL test and you can demonstrate your knowledge of SQL as well. So guys, I hope this video has been enjoyable. I hope you've learned something from it. Do stay tuned for more. I will be covering some SQL tutorials on this channel and I'll be sharing with you some example and practice questions and we'll go through how you can master SQL to get you that very first job or to help you on your way as a data analyst in your data career. And guys, as always, if you liked the video, do drop a comment, do drop a like and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. See you again soon.